quick little reminder before the video starts when you are in a glitch spot like this uh the way you're going to launch to the right or to the left is depending on where the c is if the c is to your left you want to press a like this and you'll go this way but if the c is to the right you want to press the d this works with every single glitch if you do not press these keybinds depending on which side uh you're on you will not launch correctly or just like launch at all anyways enjoy the video Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you every launch glitch in Sea of Thieves, starting with the sloop launch glitches. These are the best glitches, they send you the farthest, they send you the fastest, they're just the best and almost the easiest compared to the other boats. So basically what you want to do, come to the third or fourth stair on the sloop, go in the middle of it, double tap your interact button. Once you're in this position, like in the middle of the fence line, just hold down D and you'll go flying. Depending on your FPS or how fast your boat is moving, you'll go farther. As you can see, this was only a 2 mermaid launch, but you can go pretty far, like 8 mermaids. Starting with the next sloop launch, it does the same direction, but it's even better. Come and hold the uh, fence line right here until you get the interact button with the ladder right here. You want to double tap it really quickly until you get in the middle. Press D and jump at the same time, and it will send you flying like this. I didn't get a good one just like the other one, but like last time, depending on your FPS and how fast the boat's moving, it will send you flying even farther than this. The next launch is you want to hold the mass little line right here. Hug it until you can get the uh, ladder thing. Uh, make sure you're not climbing the ladder part. As you can see, you get pushed up a little bit. Do not get pushed up. It will fuck up the uh, glitch or just like getting inside of it. What you want to do, stand right here, double tap F pretty slowly, not too fast like the other ones. But once you're in here, you can press D and jump, and it'll send you flying to the west of your boat. Just like this. And as you can see, it's not too good as like the other ones. I got a really good launch right there, but it sends you flying to the other side of the boat. So if someone's, if a uh, ship is too far away, and you don't want a cannon out to alert them, you could just use this glitch to board their boat the next glitch does the same thing but the opposite direction sometimes the wheel gets in the way and you'll hit it but that's just unlucky it's the same as the other one just slowly double tap f get inside the fence this time you want to press a and jump to go flying this way as you saw i accidentally clipped onto that part of the ship which fucked up my speed but yeah on to the next boat Brig launches are hands down the easiest glitches to do. What you want to do, get the cannon, bring it as far right as possible. Or if you're glitching on this side, do it as far left as possible. Tuck yourself in the corner right here. Double tap F. Once you're in the middle of the outside of the boat, press D and jump. And you'll go flying this way. My farthest of this, uh, doing this glitch, is about 3 or 4 merms. I don't have the best FPS. But if you have more FPS than me, then you'll obviously go farther. Along with every other glitch, depending on your FPS and how fast the boat's moving and like the elevation of it, you'll go farther. The glitch also works on this side of the boat. Don't worry, just do the same thing. Tuck yourself. But instead of pressing D and jump, you press A and jump, and you'll go flying that way. I recently found out about this glitch by accidentally doing it. It's the same as the cannon one, but instead of going in the cannon, you just want to go right here. Double tap F until you are in the middle of the railing. And what you want to do is you want to press D and jump if you're on this side. And you'll go flying this way. I found this glitch to be much better than the other one. It sends you flying farther. Uh, it's just like better in my opinion. So I recommend doing that instead of the cannon one. It works on the other side too. Just double tap F and press A and jump instead of D and jump. On to the next glitch. Galleon launches are the most annoying to do. There's multiple spots you could do it, but the easiest I find is hugging this, double tapping F, and getting stuck at the bottom or the middle of the ladder. Press A and jump, and you'll go flying towards the sea like this. I haven't gotten a good one that's launched me too far, but of course there's two other launches I'm going to show you. The second galley launch glitch is right here. You want to come to the little plank on either side. Walk up onto it, and so you can get the climb ladder little thing. Double tap it. Once you get stuck in the middle, press A and jump. Or if you're on the other side over here, you can press D and jump. 
and you'll go flying towards the sea like this. I spent 15 minutes trying to do that glitch, and as you can see, I didn't even get that far of a launch. I don't recommend doing that one, but of course, there's still one more glitch to do on the galleon. The last galleon launch is the plank launch. What you want to do is you want to come down to this section next to either plank, double tap F to climb into the ladder, and you want to get stuck inside the middle of the plank. Sometimes you'll black screen just like that. Other times you'll fall down under the boat. And if you're lucky, you'll even go inside of the boat just like that. It's very hard to get the glitch. But once you do get the glitch, you have to press S and jump or hold down S and you'll go flying. But I recommend doing this one where you're hugging the sail length. It's just the easiest, but here's an example of someone doing this launch. A lot of ladders in Sea Thieves allow you to also launch. So like this one at Sea Dogs, you can use this to get to Reapers or I'm not sure if you get to funded, but I haven't tried it out. You need a lot of FPS to do this. So what you want to do is you want to hold this uh, log right here, double tap F and you want to get in the middle of the log. Once you're in the middle of the log, you can press A and jump and you'll be sent flying this way. If you have a really good amount of FPS, then you can get to Reapers easily. But as you saw, I didn't get that far. On to the next launch. Personally, my favorite launch is the Sovereign's launch. What you want to do is you want to click the lever twice. This brings the platform up and back down. So if you do mess up, you can just try again. But what you want to do is you want to put your body about right there on the log, hanging off the edge on the right side a tiny little bit. You can black screen, which will most likely happen to me. But if you don't, you will get the farthest launch, which is about two and a half to almost three squares as you see i black screen but if you have low fps i'm not sure if fps counts for this but you can go about two or three squares and those are all the launches in the video if i did miss any please feel free to comment them down below i'll try to update the video uh if not then just please like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you later